so gana betu bono o ma ye ni na so o bi ara ye na fa mo di o mi ni e o ma be nya ko so gana betu bono
Good, 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 good afternoon to you, cherished listeners, and you are live in the studios of Corner Radio in Accra, New Town, opposite the Echo Bank in Kansas Jabba Store, to be precise. Good afternoon once again, and my name is Street Lord Official, aka the Ghetto Youth Journalist, alias the Swag Don Dada. You know how we always do it on every blessed week weekdays on this program. We always make sure we entertain you guys, educate you, and motivate you as well. Today on the Corner Vibe Show, we'll be talking about COVID. So today, when you when you look at the topic before the house today is health talk, which today we'll be talking about COVID. And you know, I'm not a doctor, or either I don't work in any health directory or any place, so I don't know much about COVID. So today we'll be having someone who who is like who is well known in terms of health. So he will come here and enlighten us more about COVID. We all know COVID-19. Currently, people are saying, that, oh, COVID is over, COVID is over, so we can go ahead and do what we have been doing. But today, he will be here to enlighten us more about COVID, whether COVID is still over, whether even the president saying we should stop wearing of no nose masks and mask gathering, we can like we can stop wearing nose masks, we can still go to places we usually go. We thought oh, maybe COVID is over, but today he's in the house here to educate us more about COVID, to tell us what to do or what not to do and how to go by our daily activities in order not to be affected with COVID-19. So today in the in Studio B, you will be joining me and we'll be talking much about COVID. And you, the listeners out there, if you also have your contributions, you can also send it to the comment sector. Go on Facebook right now, type Corner Radio. When you go on YouTube, it's Corner TV. On Instagram, Corner TV. Twitter, Corner TV, and on TikTok as well. Move there and make sure you share the feed so that it gets to the mass out there. Life and today we are here to educate you much about COVID. COVID is here to stay, whether we like it or not. So we need to learn much about COVID so that we can keep ourselves safe and our loved ones too as well. So my director, if you are ready, let's just go for a quick musical break. When we are back, our health personnel will be joining us in the studio B. Then we we'll start with the discussions of the day. <laughs>
did ma on my own here you know my home as i told you guys earlier on before we went on the musical break i told you earlier on that our health personnel will be joining me in the studio b and we'll be discussing much about covid you know covid i don't actually know much about covid but i know you guys at home will also like to know much about covid because others are saying covid is over others are saying oh even covid is not real so today he will be, he will be the best person to tell us whether covid is still there or covid is real so tell the brother to tell the brother that corner radio is streaming live on facebook youtube instagram twitter and tiktok as well so let's go straight to studio b say good afternoon and you are welcome to the series of Corner Radio. Thank you. Okay, sir, please, may we know your name? Yeah, my name is Tete Akumati. Sir Tete Akumati. Akumati. Sir, please, your profession, please. Yeah, I'm the Municipal Disease Control Officer. I was so enough. Wow, then you are the best person to even answer these questions we have today, because today we have a whole lot of questions to ask you today. Sure. So, sir, right now, we, today our main topic is COVID. So, like, someone may ask, what is even COVID? Because others will just say, oh, COVID is from China. Yes. Yeah, COVID is from China. That is where it migrated from. But yes. then it is an infectious disease. Yes. When we say something is infectious, it's something that when somebody gets it and you are close to that person, it can also affect somebody. So, yes. one person can carry the infection and give it to as many as those who come close to that person that have COVID, yes. I can affect almost half of the people in the mox. Wow. Just one individual? Just one individual. So that is why you realize that when we had the first case that Ghana had, we said Ghana is in crisis, we have an outbreak. Yes. Yes, because one person can carry the infection on to several people. And COVID itself is also like airborne. So if, for, for instance, today I hold your mic yes. and I live here and I have COVID, God yes. forbid, and you didn't sanitize the mic, yes. once I have an, a contact with the mic, yes. the COVID uh, virus are attached to the mic and they can be there for 40, uh, two hours. 42 hours. 42 hours. Two when days. Are, two days when they are on the surfaces. That is what they do. So anybody that comes and also touch the mic the mic without washing the hands yes. the person automatically will be infected with the disease that is why you say that uh, when the covid was is we are, were having the crisis we, they were saying that oh dedication was like don't be touching your eyes yes. do wash your hands and do all this fine we we understand we have to do all the the protocols observe all the protocols yes. make sure the who is saying that every airborne give the person at least a meter away mm -hmm. because if i have the covid and i should speak to you you know the air that comes yes. it travels one meter away from me to you so if you are close to me less than one meter the air that is coming from me will automatically get to you okay. then one trick too is that if you are talking to somebody watch where the direction of the wind is so, for instance, if the way the two of us are sitting, I should be very careful about the direction. Okay, if we are outside, what do we do? I've met you, you are my friend. Yes. I need not to face you and we talk. If I've even given you the one meter, the one meter should be, if the air is blowing this way, it, sh it shouldn't blow me and then blow you. Because if I have it, you get it. Yes. So, at least we should be side by side so that the air passes between yes. us and go. Okay. So, so far, I say this topic is something I myself say I need to learn more about it. Sure. So, someone may ask, how, like, beside, let's say, you talking, we talking to each other, or maybe we having some contact, can we also get if, if affected by COVID through another ways, beside maybe talking to each other, or maybe, let's say, you have COVID, I've had you and all those stuff, beside those ones, how can, we, is there any other way that we can get COVID again? Yes, you can also get it through fomite. Yes. If like I use my handkerchief, yes, and then I have COVID, yes, I leave the handkerchief. You pick the handkerchief. You didn't wash your hands. You use your hands to rub your face. Wow. Once the handkerchief have coughed directly into the handkerchief, Thank or cough directly into a surfaces or my phone, yes, you can also get it through that me. That is why I'm saying that when they are in the surfaces, it takes to you that 48 hours before, unless. Unless probably you have some strong, uh, how do you call it, like um, 
bleach yes. and other things to clean the surfaces so some hand sanitizer to clean the surfaces in that case they are gone you wash your hands properly with soap you don't have problem yes but then if i have my phone and i've touched handled the phone for a long time yes. and i have it and the phone is contaminated the only thing for me to do is to use um how do you call it the cotton and then hand sanitizer to clean the phone nicely okay sir so then we have another question here again and this one is from inu sahadi he's watching us live from italy and what he's asking is that is it true that COVID can be cured sure it can be cured COVID can be cured it can be cured completely that is if you see it early and you come to the hospital yes they will cure you but then once you have a cure there could also be a reinfection yes if you are cured you go back you expose yourself to somebody who still have it there could be the chances are that you can also have a reinfection after you've been cured after you are cured if you go back and you are still with somebody who have it you may end up having it again so let's say maybe i've been affected by covid sure it have take like two weeks before i got to know that i'm affected with covid sure. so when i move to the hospital still i can be cured even though maybe my was two two weeks i was still at home with it yeah now that I, I now that it's like it's serious so i've now moved to the hospital still i can be cured you can be cured once they, they will put you on medication yes so the thing is your fed before they put you on medication they do that they will run the test for you yes the test will tell them that yes you have the uh, the virus in you so the they will give you medicine then the doctors will still be carrying on with the test and they'll be changing some of the drugs for you yes so once you are positive if after you have taken all the drugs they run the test again if you are negative they declare you free you can go okay so the same person has dropped another message that they've made it clear to us that virus cannot be cured mm -hmm. but they can only be managed which of the virus as for covid covid yes. is curable hiv you can manage hiv yes yes so that means the virus let's say the reaction of hiv virus is different from different COVID from covid virus. yes so I think the guy should go and read again. So that means the COVID one is manageable and it's even, it can even be cured. Yes. Wow. 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 But for HIV, nobody can cure, cure HIV. HIV. You can manage HIV. Yes. But for a uh, COVID virus, yes, it can, it is curable. Okay. So then this one too. I don't know whether you, maybe you are the best person to answer it or maybe if you are not the one to, we can just keep that question. Right. What he's saying is that ever since the president lived the ban mm -hmm. on the what on this nose mask wearing and mask gathering, he has given us the go ahead that this time wearing of nose mask is no more compulsory and mask gathering, we can go out and chill. So ever since he announced this to the general public, how did you guys see the management of COVID now? Is it that it's spreading or it's now minimizing? yes the the case load is is now decreasing yes yes the president came out to announce to us that it is not mandatory but then you should also get this fact yes there are some places where you are going you have to wear masks yes and there are some places to if you don't wear the masks they will not allow you to enter it doesn't mean that COVID is completely out of ghana we are getting cases but the cases are minimal okay now if you are not lucky and you find yourself in any of the gatherings like i said earlier on yes and you are not lucky you meet somebody who is also having the infection if you are not lucky your immune system that time is compromised yes. you get it so that means even though the president said it's not compulsory for us to wear nose masks or to like stay away from mass gathering but you yourself even though he said it's not compulsory but use your common sense to know that no even though it's not compulsory but where i'm going i need to be careful careful okay so that's what he's also telling us that even though the president said it's not compulsory but wherever you are going you need to use your common sense apply your common sense to know that no even though president says it's not compulsory but where i'm going maybe i don't know who is having it yes. you can also get the disease from there and say so let's say i have the disease i'm at home with my family maybe they don't know that i have the disease and now I get to know that I have the disease. So when I, if I'm going to the hospital, is it compulsory for me to go along with the whole family? Or so far as I got to know that I'm the only one, I go alone. When I get to know that someone is having again, then the fellow also come. No, but we have something we call uh, isolation. Yes. Once the person have it, yes. the person will be given an education. 
then the person will also be they, they have to educate the person and tell the person that look it is an infectious disease yes. it can affect those you are staying with in the house yes. so it is either we, we we have to isolate you in the hospital or if the person have a lot of rooms among in the house, house yes. we keep the person in that room the person doesn't come out yes. you understand it if you can do it the doctors make sure they keep you there yes now you become those who are staying with you are now your contacts so we have something we call contact tracing yes so professionals as uh, the community of nurses are or contact tracing uh, contact tracers are they will come and then when they come to you they will talk to you in a nice way they know how to convey the message to your family yes. then they will pick all of them their samples and test the sample if any of them is also positive then it means that the person must go into an isolation. They will manage you. Yes. Those who are not positive, they show them what they should do so that they will also not be infected. But then if we realize that you cannot do the isolation at home, mm -hmm. we keep you at the hospital. Okay. But now, I think when it came, they were keeping people. Yes. Now they don't keep people again. Yes. They will ask you to do the home management. Man okay. Okay, so about like we we those outside or let me say people out there have the perception that COVID it half people it can affect. Oh, you're a young guy for you you can never be affected by COVID because you are still having the energy, you are still energetic. So COVID can never attack you because you are young. Is that one also true? Sure. You see when COVID can we have some people that like I said, their immune system is very weak. Yes. So when the medicine came and the medicine was not enough, yes. you realize that they were targeting people with hypertension yes. people with uh, diabetes yes. they were targeting people who have their ages are 60 and then above yes. these are people they they started targeting and then protecting them yes. because if you have any underlying condition like diabetes high blood pressure when you get covid it is very difficult some of them cannot go to the management so when the medicine was few they were targeting those people until we finish with them, they targeted them, they targeted health workers who will be fighting the disease, yes. irrespective of your age. But then, after that, then they open up the immunizations to all the population. Yes. Uh -huh. So what we are saying is that if the COVID can affect everybody, it can affect you once you have contact with the person. If you joke, you can have it. So regardless how, regardless how energetic you how are, energetic you are, it doesn't mean you have muscles. So COVID cannot affect you. You can still be infected with the virus. Okay, it doesn't mean you have muscles. If you want to be the, the best gymmer, COVID sure. is COVID. Yes. COVID can affect everybody. Okay, so then we have another message here too. He's also saying like, how is how is the ongoing vaccination? Are we getting the numbers we, we were aiding for? It's like, are Ghanaians convinced to, yeah. to take this vaccine? Yes, we started a vaccination long time ago. I think currently we started on 25th and then we ended just yesterday. Yes. But then problem we were having at Ayawa so North is that yes. we are in a community where is uh, the most of the populations is the Muslim dominated population. Yes. And the people are fasting. Yes. And so if you are talking about the just ended one I can tell you that the numbers were not encouraging. Yes. But then the previous one, when they were not fasting, yes. The numbers were huge. Yes. The numbers were com were very good. Yes. People were admitting it, and they were taking they are taking the immunization. Yes. But since they were fasting, and after the government, the uh, the president directives, we realized that we were not even talking about the directives. But yes. we know that Ayawa so north, people in Ayawa so north are very good. They are compromising with the injection but then you can't ask somebody who is fasting to come and take, take the medicine injection. so let's say in the this month of ramadan now you you guys have end your sure but we are continuing everything. okay because of them okay because of them though we are tired yes. we want to start on the fifth and end on the 11th of may. may okay so that is why i'm here today to tell them now we have the uh, circulated some letters to the monks yes. letters to the churches yes so that we can get them after the Ramadan, we can get, the, get them and immunize them. And then very soon, when they finish with the Ramadan, yes. and then they are going to Hajj. Yes. If you don't have it, you can't go. Go to Hajj. You can't go to Hajj. So that means if you don't, if you, you haven't taken the vaccination, 
then that means for you even if you have your own money hard you, you can't, can't go, go. To hard. you can't go now if you even have you if for instance if you have taken those that the doses that need to be taken twice yes if you have taken that one and then you didn't take booster you can also travel yes so we are giving them the opportunity starting from 5th may to 11th uh, uh, may okay sir let me put it in this way let's say normally we go to the grounds there and sometimes we listen to a sure. lot of, whole lot of conservatives about this vaccine what else i said oh this vaccine when you take this vaccine if you're a man that means your man wood is gone <laughs> other we have others who are also saying that oh if you take this vaccine self the vaccine doesn't play any vital role in your body and one time on this same show a friend like a guy came on this show and we were asking him about this COVID. Have, have, has he taken his vaccine he said no we asked him why because he said there are a whole lot of big big op opinion leaders who are even condemning this vaccine that i don't want to mention names because we have many of our opinion leaders who sat on radio station on tv station to condemn this vaccine say the vaccine doesn't even play any role because according to them even after you take the vaccine you can still be affected again so what's the essence of us taking the vaccine you see, um, the, like I said, yes, uh, the immune, uh, the body's immunity play a very good role. Yes, if you take any vaccination, it is a weakened form of that kind of thing. Yes. So, like, if I've taken, like, me sitting, you have taken one, two, and then a booster. Yes. So, if the two of us so should not go, say, like one, two, and the booster. I don't know. Either we have another third one because I know we only have sure, two. Sure. That's the booster. We have currently we have when we started we have the Sputnik. Yes. That's the names of the vaccines. Yes. And then we, we brought in the government brought in the Sputnik and then we jabbed the people. Yes. They brought in the Moderna. Yes. They brought in Pfizer. They brought in uh, AstraZeneca. Some of them are COVID shared, same as the AstraZeneca. And then they also brought in the Johnson and Johnson. Yes, that's the one we all know. Yes, that if you take a jab, you it is one jab is you are okay for the whole show that yes. it can protect you for life. Yes. But then if you take that one, there's the need for you after three months later to take a booster. So then if you are telling us that after the, the two times vaccination you still have to take a booster, then I a think booster. that education the mass we don't we haven't get that education yet because someone like me i always went for two and i think i'm okay so whenever i'm even going somewhere i feel like oh no so far as i'm vaccinated COVID is away from my my life or i can never get COVID again because i haven't heard of this booster again uh oh but we are we are you know the health promotion office is still knocking at people's door yes if not corner radio it is all over in the radio mm -hmm. stations mm -hmm. So that means even and so if you look at the whole thing those who are, who like traveling yes in my in the whole country they yes. know or let, let's say those who normally move to dubai america those who move me i don't travel anywhere i'm in ghana but yes. i have my first second and then the third okay. shot yes which is the booster the yes. first booster so those who travel and those connection men who also assist people to travel yes. they know it you can be there and a woman will come that I've heard that there is the third dose for me to take. Yes. So then it means that the education is going. Yes. But now we want to touch the grounds in Ayawa so north. Yes. All the possible means to educate people in Ayawa so north because yes. this is where we are also working. Working, yes. So that people will understand that you there's the need for them to take the boost the one and two or the one shot. Three months later, after you have taken the last shot, you come for the booster. If you don't come for the booster, if you are traveling, they can't allow you to, to go. Travel. So I can say that I'm happy that people in Ayala so north, yes. he, they've heard about the booster. Yes. You can be there. Somebody will enter and tell you that I want to go to Hajj. Yes. But they said if I didn't come for the third booster, well. I can't go. So the doors are open. Like I tell you, we've opened the doors for them. Okay, sir, so you know what, what Ghanaians are so passionate about is they just want to be confirmed that when I've take, if I've taken all these vaccines, for me, I can't get COVID again. That's, their, that's what all of them want to hear. Like, oh, so far as I have, I have vaccinated myself, that means I can't be affected with COVID again. Yes, if you have if you have vaccinated yourself, you have taken first, second, and third. The, the third one, which is the booster. Yes. That doesn't give you certi the certificate to say that when you are going to uh, 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 you are going to a crowded place, yes. you don't have Where to no obey smart. 
obey the, the, the protocols, yes. you still need to adhere to the protocol. For instance, if you are going to Mamubi, the general hospital, yes. no, there's, there's, nobody should tell you don't wear masks. Wear masks. Yes. If you are going somewhere to the mocks, where you think people are there, wear masks. Definitely somebody may be coughing there. You don't know what cough the person is coughing. Yes. Like, I, like we are saying here, they will tell you that COVID has come to stay. Malaria, if you don't want to get malaria, yes. what do you have to do? You have to prevent yourself from You mosquitoes. prevent yourself. Every disease, if you don't want to get the disease, you prevent yourself from getting that disease. Okay, sir, then we also have these rumors out there, people saying that when you have been affected by COVID and like they've cured you, it will be very difficult for you to get COVID again. Science have not proven that for me to know. Because according to them, that the yeah. virus is in you already. So now you are now the host. You cannot contract COVID again because you are now the host. Uh -huh. So what you can do is you can only spread it. You see, your skin, the COVID is not, your body is not the reservoir for COVID. Yes. That is why doctors are saying they have given you the medicine. They did the first test and they are saying that they can see the COVID-19 mm. virus in your system. system. Yes. Now, after giving you which medicines they have to give you, they run the test again and they tell you that you are now cured or you are free to go. Yes. It means that the virus is no more there. Okay. But it doesn't mean that you have it again. There could be reinfection, like yes. I'm saying. Yes. So nobody should deceive anybody and tell somebody that if you get COVID, you can be reinfected. So don't go and take, don't go and uh, follow the protocol. No. Okay, sir, so, you know, we are, we are in Zongo, and Zongo is Zongo. We have people who normally say, oh, if you're affected with COVID, you, all what you need is take hot water. Get, I don't know, how uh, is it neem tree or something that way? Let's boil it, then cover ourselves, then we take we take the heat in our body. That's all. Or else I even say, take ginger with leptin and all those stuff. Because if you go to Zongo, it's very common. People are saying, if you, are, if you have any COVID-19 patient, give the fellow this and that. So you, as a health personnel, do you think that one also helps? Uh, I'm not here to rebuke uh, any herbal medicine. Yes. Uh -huh, because they also have their beliefs. Yes. But then um, I'm not into the herbal sector. Yes. Herbal will tell you that this and that, like you are saying, it will yes. cure it. But at the end, end of the day, the person must go and run the test so that we see what will happen. Okay. But what I'm saying here is that I don't know. I don't have any scientific proof. facts to prove that yes. when you take the neem tree or you take the ginger, which people are claiming that it is very hot and yes. then it, the, 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 the virus cannot withstand it. Yes. I don't have any scientific proof. Yes. But what I would say is that if you think you are having any of the symptoms, you go to the hospital, let doctors send you to the lab for the lab test to be carried out. Then let them come out and give you the medicine then you are, you'll be free. Okay, sir, we have another message again. This one too is from Suleimana Suleimana. He is even saying that, okay, in the first place, how will one even get to know whether he or she is affected with COVID? Because cough, sometimes cough is ordinary. Sneezing to is ordinary thing. So how did one get to know whether he or she have COVID? Yeah, like we, like he's saying, we are saying cough is one of the things. If yes. you are coughing yes. and you buy medicine, it's not going. Yes. Sometimes they will tell you that when you have the symptoms like just malaria, yes. you have to just go to the hospital. It's only the hospital, their person must go for the hospital to carry out their investigations. Okay. You see, headache is one of the things. The malaria symptoms like chills is also one of the things. And then a cough is also one of it. So if you are experiencing some of these things, you better go back to the hospital let them take your samples your report take your card from the opd yes. you see a doctor they will definitely book you for a doctor to see so it is there the doctor needs to carry out the investigation then the doctor will tell you that look i'm suspecting this or that so go and do this test okay okay we have another message again he is also saying that can one move freely even though he or she is aware he's affected with COVID, but follow the protocols you are aware, yes, I have COVID things. Even though if, I'm if aware, you love, I have COVID. If you love your, your, you love your friends and you love your, your country, I don't think you should do that. Yes. Because they will just give you some stipulated time. You take your medicine. Yes. So for me... So, you know, this question this fellow is asking us also remind me to, like, 
on a certain issue let's say the campaign time a certain mp have to go out even though he knew he was affected with COVID. but according to him he said his doctor told him that so far as he's following the safety measures he's good to go uh, but you and i know he didn't follow the safety measures yes. and something came up yes uh -huh. So the guy who is asking the question. Yes, that's Sulemana. Sulemana, Sulemana. Is if, life if, in Dubai. Yes, if I'm Sulemana, yes, I wouldn't go out. You see, in Ghana here, people can go out and do whatever they want to do. Yes, you know the protocols to follow. Yes, but he, where he is, he can attest to the fact yes. that they will not even allow him to even come out in the first place to be roaming on the street. Yes, if you attest to the fact that what we are discussing here where he is it's difficult that you can't move yes but ghana people can have it and they move because they are some of them the disease doesn't suppress them yes their immune system is strong, strong. so you didn't see them the doctor said do home isolation he end up going out with friends he will never tell anybody but he'll go out it happens it happens so um Suleiman, if you love yourself you love your friends you are moving with the the rule is saying that just go into some isolation for some time take your medication when you are free you go out okay sir let me let me ask this one is from my own conscience let's say the isolation is it like when i isolate myself is it that it's some it take two weeks some one week or is just it have a specific date you have to come out from isolation sure that one yeah, depend on you and your doctor yes when it came they said two weeks yes yes but then the doctor will see how he will go about the things for you. Yes. Uh -huh. Some of you, some of them, they will tell you, some people, some people will adhere to the, strictly to the rules. Yes. Their children will not even come to them. They will come and place everything they want to give him just at the doorstep. And then they will call him on phone that your, your water food is ready there. Yes. So whoever is coming to pick the bowls, the person have something to sanitize the hands. He does some gloves. Uh -huh. So the thing is, we know it is two weeks, but then it depends on your immune system, system and then the situation you are in. It could be long or it could be short. short. So that means so the number of days you spend in your isolating center, it based on your immune system. Immune if system. the immune system is strong, then that means yours will be numbered. But yeah. if your immune system is weak, that means you have ample time to be there. Yes, and okay. now, now you are a patient. So once yes. you are a patient, it depends on the doctor who is also looking after uh, you you to tell you that you are now free or you are not free okay 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 sir so right now someone said you've now added that we have third dose what about they who are not going to travel they are not going to travel and uh okay let me get okay. the way he okay okay let, what let about me. we who are not we those who are not going to travel we are always going to be in ghana here so do we also have to go in for the second dose or what Okay, so the question is asking, eh? you see sometimes when somebody comes for the immunization, you tell the person, go and come on this said date. The person goes and then the person doesn't come back on that said date. So the booster dose okay. is there to make up that gap that the person has created between the doses. So if you are traveling, you are not traveling, please come back and take your third dose. Okay, this is message from Inu Sahari from Italy. He is saying what? If you were to know you are affected by COVID, first, you lose appetite. Second, cool and flu. Third, then you have a headache. He has been affected twice. That's he is in Italy. That's and he is saying he has been affected sure, twice. Sure. So that means those of you in Ghana so, who are saying so if you are affected once, that's all. No, you can never be affected. So he is, now the best, he is now the best teacher. Yes. You see, let me tell you. I speak, I sit here and speak, but I have never had COVID, COVID before. Okay, but the person who spoke... Yes. The person who spoke, yes, Inu Sahadi from Italy. In, Inu Sahadi, you are right because all this, the chills, fever, cough, the sore throat, and all these things, and you, that loss of appetite. loss of appetite. Some yes. of some people will not lose appetite. Yes, it will depend, like I'm saying, the immune system. Yes, he has lost appetite. Yes, he can't eat. Some people cannot even smell when you even spray perfume. Yes, they cannot even smell when there's food. But I think he didn't have that thing. Yes, no, he... he yes, so it depends on the individual. So now, he is the best teacher. He can tell you he has gotten it twice. Yes. If he doesn't adhere to the protocol, he can get it again. Wow. So that means COVID don't have the number of times it No, affects. it's just like malaria. 
if you have you have been treated and you still don't adhere to protocol you go around and you are not lucky and you come into contact with somebody who is also having it definitely my brother you pick it okay sir so now can you tell us whether covid is still the deadly covid we know or for now Ghanaians should relax covid is not all that dangerous like it used to be <laughs> it's still it's still the deadly covid we know yes yes it's still the deadly because we know but... back, back in 2019 mm -hmm. let me say 2019 when we are affected that was the time covid just break out when we are affected with covid we all just as an old so far as you are affected with covid that's all you have no way for you death is death will surely be your final destination i think i think that that was the time that you and i were attest to the fact that we don't have medicine we don't have any immunization people can tell you that oh go and take this num three people take the num three because they think some doctors give them chloroquine which is not true i don't know that medicine the doctors give them but then you see that now we can even assess the immunization you can take our covid vaccines everywhere in every corner in ghana okay in which Hadi has also dropped uh, another one he is saying to those who haven't taken their covid dose they are on a very high risk sure so he is in italy and he's telling our brothers and sisters in ghana that if you haven't taken your your covid vaccination you are on a very high risk very very high risk so let's say someone who has taken the vaccine and someone who haven't taken the vaccine at all, then you two of you all are affected. Whose own will be much? You see, if I have taken it and I've taken my my booster and all that, yes. Like Hadi is saying, it will just come like a good. Yes. Then it will go. Yes. But then the person who have not taken it at, at all, all, when it come, you it will make sure you go to the hospital to be hospitalized. Yeah. Okay. So so now let's come to our own area which is ayahuasca north yeah let's say in ayahuasca north right now if we have people who have been affected with covid and maybe their house that we can't they can't isolate them in their house let's say a cry here is very choked you can find a man with his family living in just in a single room so is it that you take the fellow to the hospital and isolate the fellow or you tell the family members to leave their daddy or their mommy alone <laughs> that's why I, I i started by saying that if we realize that the person cannot do the home isolation then i think we will keep the person a bit in the hospital yes so that when the person is free the doctors will discharge the person to come home and come and join the happy family okay and this one too goes to all those watching me live you see people are dropping some comment about malams and all those stuff don't don't just mind them we can't stop it so all what we have to tell you the listeners is you guys need to be careful no ma we don't have any like we don't have any hands on it so don't pick any malam number and call the malam saying you want this or that the malams most of them are frosted so we beg you Inu Sahadi, i've seen you replying some of their comments so to those of you watching us live on facebook and youtube i beg you don't pick any malam's contact so sir let's come back again like the, as I said earlier on, the fellow is affected, but the fellow is in one room. Yeah. And he's in, and after this, Ayahuasca North is affected with COVID. So is it that we have to take the fellow to the hospital and isolate the fellow there? Or we have another way? You see, once you, have, you, are, you are infected with the COVID, yes. the doctors will talk to you, public health people will talk to you about yes. the danger of staying in the house. house okay now if they you said you have a place to do the isolation somebody yes. will come to the house assess if there's no space we keep you somewhere look for a place at the hospital and keep you yes. when you are free you take after taking your medicines and you are cured they ask you to come home but then if you don't have any place thinking that they should isolate you or ask you to stay in your own home that one i don't think any doctor or hospital will do while they know that it is deadly, it is infectious, no. They will ask you to stay a bit in the hospital okay. so that when you are free, they discharge you to go home. Okay, so said right now, how do you guys deal with the stigmatization? You know, people in Ghana, now if somebody is affected with COVID, it's like, we don't want to see you again. So now do you think that Ghanaians have now adopted to that? Oh, like in the first place when we are affected we've, we've all seen when covid started people who were affected and they came out to tell people that oh we've ever been well, we have been affected with covid we've seen how people react with them even those who are food sellers people have to stop buying their food so right now maybe you are in the health sector and you've seen is it like those who are affected are they having that courage enough to tell people that yes 
I've been affected with COVID, but now I'm okay and all those stuff. And yes, like what you are saying is true. But if you we don't we don't disclose people's status. Yes, we don't even. I, I can't remember when we do program and we ask somebody to come and say that I have it. I've been cured. And because we are in Africa, Ghana. If you do it now. If you don't take time, the house will be tagged forever. That this house is the house that we have COVID from. The generation yet to come, they will tell them that this is the problem from this house. So professionals as the health workers are, they don't disclose it. Yes. Okay, this message and too is from, is it Loku Vicky? And he said, my disease control officer, you do all. <laughs> okay, so let's continue. So they don't disclose it. They called you and then talk to you the person in question who have it yes after talking to you then they ask you whether you have a place who do you have a trust in to break that news to yes he said i want to talk to my my wife about it yes somebody can even not trust the wife but can trust the son, son yes confining the son then the son will say that okay then the two of us are going to do this then they manage it together. So no health professional. If you, 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 if you even tell us that you don't want anybody to do this, don't even come to my house. Yes. Health professional will not come to your house and wear the uniform and come. If anything, they will not come at all. They will call you on the phone. Sometimes they train them, they give them the thermometers. Yes. They will teach you the reading. You do it and then you call the health worker. You give the thermometer reading in the morning, in the evening or afternoon to the person. So that means if you are affected, you shouldn't be afraid to go to the hospital because don't be you afraid. are secured. You are secured. No we have one professionals will to you talk to. If you don't want people to know, nobody will know. And the thing is that sometimes some people, when you ask them to go, they will tell you, I want to go and do this and come. Yes. The person standing there, the immune system is so strong yes. that he doesn't even see yes. anything. Yes. Meanwhile, the test proving the test is proving that the person is positive. The person doesn't see anything in his body or her body, so the person will tell you that I'm fine. He doesn't even believe what you are telling him yes. until he goes home. They started coming, the pains and other things started, all the uh, complications of yes. the things that then the person will believe that this. When it happened like that, they also quickly call. Then the professionals will attend to them. Okay, sir. So we also have people when they take this vaccination, they will complain headache or maybe where they've inject them, the place have swallowed and all those stuff. Yes. And I always like this also like put fear and panic into the, those who haven't taken the vaccine yet. Oh, person so went for it. He's now complaining his head. Others are even saying it will rather like weak your immune system. <laughs> anyway, everybody is saying what he or she has experience where he took the vessels. Uh, I think for the site, the pains at the site where you took the injections, Injection. some people will feel it. Yes. Even when they, they, the first time they prick that place, you hear it. Yes. Some, some people can tell you, we didn't feel anything at all. Yes, yeah, someone like me, I didn't feel anything. I didn't feel it. Somebody too will feel it. Yes. Yes. We have something we call the AEFI, Adverse Drug uh, Event Following Immunization. Yes. When it happened like that, you report to us. Oh, after taking the immunization, maybe I've got diarrhea for maybe three days, three days okay. and still have still have the diarrhea. Yeah. Then we know what we can do. After taking the injection, I have like malaria. You feel the symptoms will come just like you have malaria. Yes. Then somebody to also tell like mine. When I took mine, let me tell you about mine. I have headache. The headache came a little and then left. Then I have to sleep. I, I'll eat a lot and sleep a lot for three days. Some people too, that thing is dicey. Some people too will come and tell you that, look, a woman came here and told us that, look, I was not menstruating. But after, after taking, taking it, my message is coming on. <laughs> wow. Hey. Yes, a lot. Somebody came to tell us he have arthritis of the knee. Yes. Every day you have arthritis. After taking the medicine, the arthritis is gone. Yes. So everybody 
and the complaint. That is why we are picking complaints from People. those that have been immunized. Yes. What went on? Somebody to come and tell you that, oh, it's because of the injection. I have experienced this. You go through, you want to check whether it is AEFI, mm -hmm. adverse event following immunization. You realize that it was malaria. The thing is there already, yes. but coincidentally, after the injection, after the injection, the thing has come has, up. Yes. So we are saying that if you take the injection and you are feeling these things, just report to us. Then we will carry out the complaint and follow it and see whether it is because of our injection or no. Then I am also saying that those who have problems and the medicine have solved it for them, the arthritis is gone. Now my menstrual flow is coming normally. Somebody is having persistent headache for long, it is gone. So everybody will tell us that is it. Okay, is. this one too is from John SY is also watching us live from Dubai and he's saying he has taken his third dose already. Yeah. And he's also saying that, that only the first dose that will feel the pain, but the second and the rest is very cool. Yeah, that is his or his as you call it, his immune system telling him that. Yes. So you see somebody to come and take the last one and tell you ah as for this one, I'll feel it power. Yes. So it is individual and what you also feel. Okay. Okay, sir, so let's like I always want us to come to our Zungo here. Or this is our community. We have others to who also say, Oh, this vaccination, we have some people that for them we don't have to vaccinate them. Others will say pregnant women. Others will say maybe people who are who have ulcer. Or that like one time I had a whole lot of people, people they say, oh no, for you, you don't have to take it. You are pregnant. You don't have to take it. You have this sickness. You don't have to take it because they, according to them, when you take it, it will rather worsen the sickness. So what's true about that too? Um, I can say, I would say that it is not true. Yes. When the medicine came, we were, they were, the medicine were not enough. Yes. So like the AstraZeneca and then the COVID share. Yes. They gave us the eight blackheads from 18 years and above. We should immunize them. Then we're there, and then this thing came. How do you call it? The J&J. J&J too, from 18 and above. Then the Pfizer that we have is telling us that, look, the Pfizer, we want children 15 years and above. Yes. Then, now they said you can even use the Pfizer. We should use the Pfizer to inject pregnant women. Okay. When the thing happened, the Food and Drugs Board, Ghana must also do their checks. Okay. Before they give us the go ahead. Yes. So per the international uh, 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 bracket, when we were not even immunizing pregnant women, outside they were immunizing pregnant women. Until we are also setting with all the things, the the go ahead came to us that look, immunize pregnant women, but use the medicine called Pfizer to do that. Okay. This one too is from John Paul, and he is saying that kids can also be affected with COVID. So if kids are affected with COVID, what kind of injection will we give them? Let's say from the age between two to five. Yeah, if that happen, if that happen, I think the doctors will give, they won't give injection, but they will give medicine. So we have a way. And, and I don't think, I don't think the data I've seen so far, the case, the age bracket that he gave, yes. they are part. Fine, it, there could be children like what he's saying, but yes. I don't know, maybe the doctors, they are attending to them, so they will know. But then you see, some of the medicines, the doctors have to give them based on the weight. Yes. So they will know the best medicine to give them, but I don't think they will recommend vaccination. So now it's, you've made it clear that even pregnant women yes. can still come. They have their own special vaccine. We yes. give it to them. It, it, it's not special vaccine. It is Pfizer. Pfizer. The Pfizer, the one that we are using for children 15 years and above. Yes. They said, now there's a, a, a how do you call uh, go ahead that we should use that one to Im uh, immunize pregnant women. Formally, what we do is that if you are a pregnant woman and you have even given birth, yes. when you give birth and you come, we wait for the children, the child to attain six months and above before we immunize you. Yes. But now because of the directives, we immunize all of them. Now a child in the tummy, the mother can be immunized using Pfizer. Wow. The unborn baby. The unborn baby's mother can be immunized using Pfizer. Wow, wow, wow. 
I know whoever is watching us today, you guys are educating yourself much. And uh, COVID is here to stay. As the president said already, COVID is now like malaria. We are, we are, we are, we only have to work, manage COVID, but we can never do I away take, with COVID. I take the protocol serious. Okay, then let's go with this one too. Someone is also saying that, okay, can you give us some of the safety measures we have to take both in our houses and public places when we find ourselves? Yes, like the public places, I think the rules are there. Yes. First, we are talking about the distance between you and somebody one yes. meter. Okay, say so I want to also ask this. So let's say we are all using one Veronica bucket, yes. just one. I'll open the tap, wash my hand, and go. Another person also can open the same tap, wash his hand, and go. Yes. So in case I'm affected, you know, I have to open it before I wash my hand. Yeah, that is why there's tissue. But right now, every most Veronica, of the places every, they don't use the tissues anymore. Yeah, so gently, as you, a gentleman, gen, uh, or a lady must use a tissue always. Yes. When you get there, use your tissue. Or you can even use some of the water. When you open with this hand, yes. you can use some of the water to wash it. Now you pour, you use one hand to pour the soap. Yes. Then you wash it under the running water. Then you can still go back with the water again, wash and then lock it up. You use tissue to wash your hands. If you have hand sanitizer yes. after washing your hands, you because to be double sure, yes. use the sanitizer, smell it in your hand, your yes. palms, and that's all. Okay, sir. So then we also have people. Let's say for uh, this our locality, Zongo. That one is very common. Someone won't even wash their hand. So far as I have the sanitizer, I'm good to go. If you just sanitize their hand, eat with it. Yes. Yeah, I think that is also okay. But then the best one is the yes. washing of hands. The washing of the hands. The washing of hands is the best one. If there's water and soap around, use it. But a place where you don't have water and soap, you can use the sanitizer. But when you have water and soap, that is the best. The hand washing is the best. Okay. So you said, then now, that means right now you are telling the people of Ayawa Sunov that the vaccination is still ongoing, even still though the ongoing. date is due. But for the love of the people it's still of ongoing. Ayawa Sunov, Ayawa Sunov. It's still ongoing. It's still ongoing. And I'm telling them that our director, Dr. Sophia Christ, Yes. Love them. They should all come out massively after the Ramadan. Yes. From fifth to eleventh May. Yes. They should come out. We'll be coming to the mocks. We'll be going to churches. We we'll also will be going to some places like coming to their homes and all that. But then currently it is ongoing. People will not come to the house from today that I'm talking. Yes. To tomorrow. They will be at the entrance. Your entrance here, you see them there. Yes. When you go to Eban Aid, they are there. When you go to Mamubi, they are also there. Mm -hmm. So those who are also not fasting and those who are Christians and they think the program has ended, it has not ended like that. Mm -hmm. They should go there, they can get their job. Then after that, from 5th May to 11th May, we we'll start it from those who have also be finished with the Ramadan. Okay. So that we make sure we cover the entire population. If okay. not all, I think, we should be able to immunize more than uh, three fourths of the population. Okay, is it Madam Lokuviki has also dropped another one that plenty of vaccines they come for your job? <laughs> okay, then sir, we let also say you know the vac the vaccine starts from fifteen, right? Yeah. So and you guys, if are you going to end it forever or still because next year others will also be getting fifteen? Yes, I think. And, when and every year, fifteen will keep on multiplying. Yeah, so I think the, the vaccine is also there to stay, or it's also there just for widows who are at the due age at, at this time. Yes, I think the we, we take we take instructions from our bosses in our, in the region. Yes. So as we as we speak now, the vaccines we have in the fridge is not small vaccines. Okay. So I don't know whether when we finish they will ask us to bring it to region. Yes. Or they will ask they will, they will ask us to keep it here. And they'll be doing it gradually, yeah, like uh, we, we, I told you, we'll be doing. Yes. If that is the case, fine. For us, we don't have option. We we'll go and bring it, and then you start it. But if they say we should bring it, that means that we have to just obey the instructions and send them back. Okay, sir. So, you know, before this Johnson and Johnson vaccine came, the president made his own statement that before maybe the end of this year, 2022, at least, even let's say one third of Ghanaians yes. should be vaccinated. So do you think we can achieve it? With what I'm you are seeing? I'm afraid. 
I'm afraid because people are not coming. So what do you think is the cause? That, is it that the education didn't go down? Education is going. Yes. Education is going, but I don't know. People, people, people ask people out. Oh, when you went to take the injection, what happened? Yes. But then you should know that what will happen to this lady will never happen to you. Okay. And they are getting it like, perspective, uh, like uh, experiences from people. People. They are using it like it will also occur to them. To them. Maybe what I will experience, you will not experience that. So we are saying that they should come. When you are, when you come for the vaccine, you are experiencing any pain or anything happens to you. Just come back to us. Okay, say so let's say maybe you are afraid that government may not hit his target or may not get their target. Do you feel like it's like government have to do some things in place so that maybe at least the citizens in the country will get to know? Let's go in for it. Do you think there's another way we can pass to like send this message to those underground so that they will all understand? Uh, I think the government have done enough. He, enough. Yeah, that the citizens we are too stubborn. The stop government on. have done all that he needs to do. do. Yes, my brother. This COVID thing, you can attest to the fact that it has even broken everybody's economy. Yes. So what again Even do you the, want the, the, the government The big kites are suffering. Yes. More or less than we the crowding ones. Yes. Want. So what again do we want again? Now, the thing is that he has put checks in place. If you don't take the immunization, there are places you can go. Yes. He has done all that. Yes. But still people are not coming out to do it. Yes. But I'm thinking, in future, when he said, if you don't have the injection, you can't even go and even have employment in any... And it has started from yes. some firm. Yes. If you don't have the injection, they will tell you that you should be off from that company. Government have done all this. Now it is left with you and now to take an informed decision. Yes. Come out and then take the vaccines. Okay, sir, don't you think we have to start doing it like polio? You'll be in your house, we'll come to your house. And so that is what we did. We are going around to individual. We are not even supposed, the initial plan was, we are not supposed to go to their houses. Yes. We are supposed to look for area, uh, some places in the area or the community and sit there. Then the people will come with their ID cards. Yes. Then we do it, we give them the card to go back. Yes. But people were sitting and realized that the community, they were not coming. Yes. So the nurses doesn't have any options than to move into their various homes. Okay, so let's say you are in Accra itself, in Greater Accra itself. Have you get a, like have you get any information from those at the rural areas, those in the villages and stuff? Are they also corresponding to this vaccine? Because let me say someone in somewhere like in a cottage like this, uh, do they also get do some of the vaccines get there to offer them? We feel like oh they are not in town, so they can never get COVID. The vaccine is uh, is at every corner in Ghana here. Yes. It's at every color. You know me, I just came from Ada. Yes. A transfer to this Ayawa so north. Yes. Just last year, August. Yes. And I can tell you, those who need to immunize, they have done it. There's vaccine there. I have seen the vaccine there. It is in my office. People came there. We have given it to the nurses, just like what uh, we are doing at Ayawa so. Yes. The same strategy, the, the region plan, the same strategy for us. And we also use our innovative skills to it. So people go to the houses, they go to companies within the sector, banks, they immunize all of them. We gathered the, uh, 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 how do, the schools, we go to schools just like we are doing here. So the vaccine is uh, across Ghana here, it is at everywhere, at every corner. Okay, sir, so do you also have like, let's say, do you also have some link with this pharma, those working in these pharmacies, you know, nurses, or let me say health, you can't do without this pharmaceutical operators so do you have some one-on-one -on -one, like encounter with them to also explain things to them because if we are sick that's where we go first as Ghanaians ordinary Ghanaians the moment we are sick first place we go is uh even I shouldn't even say farmers we have those we call drug stores that those ones even sometimes those who are even there don't even have the lances to even operate but that's the first place you go so is it that you guys have some collaboration with them to tell them that oh if so so and so or people come to lodge this kind of complaint you shouldn't just give them drugs but direct them to us because most of this cough and all this stuff the more you go there they'll give you drugs and you go back home yeah i think <laughs> you know the person is a private person and yes. he's selling medicine yes 
But if you are coughing like we are seeing there, you are having the sign. Yes. You buy medicine for the first time, it is not going. Yes. It is not a sin for somebody to go there and purchase drug and take it. Yes. But if you think you have purchased it and you took it and it is not going, then you should not go there again. You yourself. Don't go ahead. Don't go to that pharmacy shop again. Yes. Come straight to a place where you see a doctor. Yes. When you come there, you have the doctor needs to he will not give you medicine, but you should tell the doctor that I started coughing from this date to that, maybe more than one week or more than two weeks. I've bought this medicine and all that. Then the doctor also knows that you have taken this medicine. The doctor needs to do other tests for you to see that the cough you are coughing is it what what which of the cough? Yes. So the doctor will do all this thing and then give you medicine. So if you say that, oh, if somebody, I know, yes, there's, uh, there was a time, there's this collaboration. They even called them and then, uh, you know, they are still under the, yes. the, the pharmacy council. Yes. They call them, they give them all this information. They are aware. When you go to some of them, they have all the, 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 the stickers are there. Okay. Then they write all the protocols on it. They have a picture of somebody wearing a mask. No mask, no entry. entry. That syndrome is everywhere. So they are aware, my brother. But if the people go there, instead of them to tell them they should go to the hospital, they won't do that, but they will end up selling the medicines to them. Okay, sir, our time is almost due. So now your advice to Ghanaians who haven't taken the vaccine yet or they are, who yes. are scared to come for the vaccine? My advice to them, especially those in Ayawa so north. Yes. I want to tell them that they should come out massively from 5th to 8th May to 11th May. May. After the Ramadan, they should come out massively and take the immunization. We don't want to deny anybody anything. Yes. They should come. We are here because of them. Yes. If the president is saying that if a lot of the population should immunize, we are happy and they, they are not coming up. The message is that the president is only talking about head something we call head immunity. So the herd immunity simply means that if I have a so population is about one, uh, 129,000 mm. and over, and then half of us, or more than half of us, have immunized ourselves, yes. that means that we will be free from the disease. Mm. We want Ayawaso to be a place where if you talk about COVID, we can say that, beat our chest and say that a lot more of us have immunized ourselves for taking the vaccines. So we are pleading, we'll be bringing, the letters have gone, we are also liaising up with the uh, community uh, committee members yes. in the community. We plan with them. We sit down and plan with them. They give us what and what we should do. So we'll be coming. We'll be doing it. We'll be starting it again on the 5th May okay. and end it on the 11th May. And we are pleading that all of them should come out so that we do it for them. And we are also saying that no, no vaccination, no card. Yeah, you see, I wanted it. That thing is also also very very common. We have others who say, "Oh, without the vaccine, I can go there and just get my card and go." No, out. without vaccination, no card. So, but so we ha we still have people who maybe are not like you, even though I haven't taken the vaccine, but the fellow still give me the card. Uh, but that is if you don't know and you go to the wrong person, you acquire the card. Yes. Mind you, when you want to travel, you will not be in the system. Who will enter you into the system? Okay. There's two things. We have Ghana Health Service software we are using. So we enter all your information into that software. Now, if you are traveling and you go, you get to the airport, they also check 